Hello friends and welcome to this Lenten reflection given on Saturday after Ash Wednesday and produced by myself, Father Tom Casey, SMA of the SMA Media Centre in Indola. In today's Gospel at Mass, we see about Matthew, otherwise known as Levi, and his dramatic conversion. It's from Luke chapter 5, verse 27 to 32. Jesus knows this man, Levi. He's a tax collector. But Jesus doesn't mind that, even though tax collectors were very much disliked by everybody in that community. Jesus invited him, follow me. At the sound of the invitation, Levi drops everything, his whole business and the security it brings him. It is very similar to the fishermen leaving their boats and their nets. Levi, who later became Matthew, then went off after Jesus. Where? And for what? He has no idea. Like Peter and Andrew, James and John before him, in a great act of trust and faith, he throws in his lot with Jesus, wherever it is going to bring him. In Luke's Gospel particularly, the following of Jesus involves total commitment. Then he throws a party in his house for all his friends, who of course were social rejects, like himself. The religious-minded scribes and Pharisees were shocked at Jesus' behavior. Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And remember, sinners meant only one thing, prostitutes. Jesus answers them, Only the sick need a doctor, not the healthy. Jesus had not come to call the virtuous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus' words can be read in two ways. On the one hand, there is no need to preach to the converted. But of course, even the converted need constant reminders of their commitment to Jesus through their baptismal promises, namely to reject Satan and to believe and follow Jesus. But on the other hand, we have the lost and people who are in great need of the gospel and its liberating message. And these are also the sick. The invitation of Jesus, namely, and I quote, follow me. It is the same invitation he puts to us every day. Levi's response of leaving everything, including his unpopular life of tax collecting, is a challenge for us. To leave what we are used to doing every day, especially our sins, and totally commit ourselves to Jesus. This is the invitation. And this is the dramatic response from Levi. But is this what is being asked of us today? Well, yes, in a spiritual sense. Every day at our morning prayer, we are expected to recommit ourselves to Jesus. In fact, it is essential because most of you listening who have been baptized and especially those of us who are confirmed must commit ourselves to the Lord Jesus every day. We shall not divorce ourselves from our Christian practices and what we do every day. Our Christianity is to be integrated in our lives the Christ way of obeying the Ten Commandments, prayer and good works of kindness are very much part of our daily lives. There will be endless opportunities every day to do all of these. From the very first reading today at the Mass, 
Isaiah chapter 58, verses 9 to 14. We and the Israelites are encouraged to remove from our myths oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech. Is it any different in our day today? These sins are there. We have to guard ourselves against committing them. In Romans chapter 12, verse 21, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Remember that nothing is small in the eyes of God. Do all that you do with love. From Teresa of Lisieux. True charity means returning good for evil always. Saint Mary Mazzarello. What matters is keeping God's commandments. From 1 Corinthians, verse 7 to 19. Hate the sin. Love the sinner. Saint Augustine. These Quotations help us to realize what conversion is. Conversion requires changing your attitude. Pope Francis explains, It leads to humbly recognizing our mistakes, our infidelities and defaults. From Vatican City, December 9, 2018, an article written by Courtney Grogan. The Pope suggested that each person asks, How can I change something in my attitude to prepare the way of the Lord? One necessary step is making concrete gestures of reconciliation with our brothers and sisters, asking for forgiveness for our faults. The Pope explained, The Lord helps us in this. If we have good will, we must wish it and want it and will it in our lives that we ask for forgiveness and be humble enough to do so. The Pope also says, We all need profound conversion to follow Christ. Contemplating the life of Jesus and looking at our lives as pilgrims in this world, with so many challenges, we feel the need of a profound conversion and the urgency of reviving faith in him, the Pope said. So this is our call today, the call of Levi. Follow me, said Jesus. Will we follow Jesus today and for the rest of this season of Lent and for the rest of our lives? And remember, it involves conversion, leaving the old behind. As Levi left all his works, which were very unpopular but also unjust, in collecting taxes and stealing from the people, he immediately followed Jesus and invited him to his house. Will we invite Jesus into our hearts today, which is our real house, our hearts which should contain Jesus and Jesus only. This is Father Tom Casey, SMA, of the SMA Media Centre in Dola, signing off now and wishing you a happy and joyful Lenten period. <laughs>